As Goshen prepares for upcoming local elections, the Goshen Theater hosts a candidate forum. It's put on by the Elkhart League of Women's Voters and the Goshen News, and it gives candidates a chance to meet the voters. Candidates for local positions from clerk treasurer to city council to mayor got the chance to discuss issues in front of the community. The questions posed to the candidates were written by the Goshen News and the Elkhart chapter of the League of Women's Voters, who put the event on. One of the important things the League does is it goes to the important communities in our county, Elkhart, Goshen, sometimes we go to Middlebury, and we invite uh, some of the smaller towns, smaller communities to come to our events. The candidates appreciate it also um, when they are on stage in front of everyone. It gives them a chance to be in touch with their constituents. After each candidate had a chance to talk, questions were collected from the audience for the mayoral race. Incumbent Gina Lichty, who stepped in after Jeremy Stutzman's resignation last spring, and challenger Benjamin Rogers sat down to further discuss issues on the public's mind, highlighting an important part of the forum. It helps the voters learn about what the candidates stand for and the issues that they care about the most and they get to hear it directly from those candidates. We feel very strongly that the audience needs to have the chance to ask questions as well and so these forums allow them to do that. We always make sure that the questions are always nonpartisan and not like targeted. The forum was moderated by Sheila Selman, managing editor at the Goshen News. One of our primary purposes as a newspaper is to inform people not only about like all the fun cultural events and everything, but also to inform them about the more serious and day-to-day -day kind of things that, um, that happen. And well, government is a huge part of that and elections. The forum sets the city up for the coming general election, which will take place on November 7th. Reporting for Globe News, I'm Tyson Miller.